Today we are embarking on the golden round trip to Mount Pilatus near Luzern, which is one of Switzerland's most iconic peaks. Make sure you watch till the end of this video because I will be explaining each of the 5 modes of transportation you will take on this trip, which includes a boat trip, a cockpit train, an aerial cableway, cable car and bus. And we will even go down the longest summer toboggan run in Switzerland. If you have yet to subscribe, now is the perfect time to do so and without further ado, let's get going! Let's start with an overview of the Golden Round Trip. The trip typically begins with a boat cruise on Lake Luzern. After the boat cruise, you will board the Pilatus Cockpit Train, which takes you to the summit of Mount Pilatus. After your adventure on the Pilatus Coom, you will come down via the Aerial Cableway to Fragmentech, an intermediate stop that offers the Pilatus Rook Park and the Summer Toboggan Run. Another cable car will then take you from Fragmentech to Crianz, and the trip concludes with the bus ride from Crianz back to Lucerne, completing the full circle. The cockpit train runs from early June to mid November, while the boat runs from end May to end October as of 2023. So, if you're traveling between December to April, then you will only be able to go up to Mount Pilatus via the bus, cable car, and aero cableway route. Our adventure begins in the picturesque city of Lutzen. We hopped on the boat cruise from the boat terminal, which is right opposite the train station. We are going to do the Pilatus round trip and we will start with a boat cruise that is at 10.38 and we will go to Alpnachstadt. This boat cruise takes slightly more than an hour, and even though in comparison it takes only 15 minutes to reach Alpnachstadt by train, I will still go with the boat ride nonetheless during summer because it is incredibly scenic and relaxing, and it offers great views of Lake Luzern and the lakeside villages. After the boat ride, hop off and you will arrive at Elbnachstadt where you will board the world's steepest cockpit train, the Pilatus Railway. I strongly recommend you to buy your tickets in advance on the official website of Mount Pilatus rather than on the day itself because the queue during summer is extremely long and you can expect to wait up to an hour to get on the cockpit train. Also, since the seats are limited, it's advised for you to make a seat reservation which costs 5 francs so that you will have a guaranteed spot on the time slot that you have selected. In case you didn't know, this cockboat train ride has a steep gradient of 48% and is such an incredible engineering marvel. Along the way, it offers views of the lush alpine forest and rugged terrain as you make your way up to the summit of Mount Pilatus. Once you reach the top, there are plenty of activities to do. First, you can head up to the Paranormic Terrace where there is a big observation deck where you can wander and catch the views on all sides. So at the time of my visit, this is in early September, it's quite sunny and it's not super cold. I'm just wearing a windbreaker and my shorts and I think you don't need like a thick winter jacket. That's for like end of summer, early September. But if you were to come a bit later during winter time or end October to December, I think you definitely need something warmer. Directly above the observation deck, there are two higher viewpoints, the Oberalp and ESO, where you can enjoy the panoramic views of Lake Lucerne. Outside of summer seasons, these two viewpoints might be closed due to dangerous snow and ice conditions. Oh 
honestly, I feel like I could have much luck with Pilatus because when I came two years ago in April, it was exactly like this. It was super cloudy. I couldn't see anything. I couldn't even come up here. So this time at least I could come up to this viewpoint. But unfortunately, it's still quite cloudy. I'm just waiting for the sky to clear right now. I think there's one thing that people don't really mention about Pilatus and that is there's really a lot of steps here. Like the, and the steps are so steep, so you really need to be careful and you have to be wearing good walking shoes like sandals and slippers. It's a no-no, you're definitely gonna trip and fall. And yeah, just, just be careful when you're going. As you can see, there's so many steps and these are considered like the easier ones. The ones that came out inside the caves, it's really like a dragon's den, like it's so steep. Pilatus is steeped in legends about dragons living on this mountain and you can walk through this caves that resembles dragon dance. If you're looking to do a hike, you can go on this scenic trail that cuts into the cliffs and leads to the Tomless Horn Peak, which is the highest point of Pilatus at 2,129 meters. This trail is about 1.5 kilometers each way and it will take you about 50 minutes for a round trip. I only walk the front parts and I return back afterwards. After your time exploring, it's time for lunch and you can grab some food at the indoor self-service restaurant or the outdoor terrace of the Kum Hotel Pilatus. Food can be quite expensive up here but there are plenty of outdoor picnic tables so you can bring your own food to sit and have a picnic. Finally, you can visit the Dragon World, an interactive tour designed with games and fascinating effects which kids will love. It's time to continue our journey and we took the Aero Cableway down to Fragment Tech. This intermediate stop is where you will find the Pilatus Road Park and also the highlight of Mount Pilatus, the Summer Toboggan Run. This brings back memories. I was here at the Road Park two years ago and I can say that it was super super fun. This one was very challenging, I remember. But it's great for kids who are like very active and want a challenge. So there's lockers for you to deposit because you cannot bring like your bags and everything. So just deposit here. I think you have to pay. I know you don't have to. You just have to get the keys and lock it. So if you would like to film your ride down, you can, but you need to pay a deposit for this phone holder. And it's, it's technically it's free of charge, you just need to pay the deposit. It's quite a long queue, I think it's about like a 35 minutes wait, but it's gonna be worth it.
fun. Like it was incredible. Like it's my second time, but I still love it so much. You must do this when you're in Pilates. On our way back up. This was so fun. I will do it again if I have the time. Woo! Finally, it's time to head back to Lutzen and for this we're taking the cable car down to Kriens followed by the bus back to Lutzen. Thanks so much for watching and I hope that you will visit Mount Pilatus the next time when you visit Switzerland.